Well, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? If all went to plan, then what you should have seen at the beginning there was an 18-hour AFK session time-lapsed, okay? If so, good job, Python. That's a pretty big technological achievement. It really, really is. Good job, buddy. But if not, then I've probably, like, cut it up or done something with it. Basically... I AFK'd for 18 hours straight, okay? And as you guys know, we've got a whole bunch of, you know, fully automatic farms going on in this woodland mansion. We've got ourselves the AFK fish farm, which is primarily what I was doing. And then we have the other automatic farms going on as well. The iron farm and, of course, the sugarcane farm. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. My name is Python, of course, and uh, yeah, guys, we're actually on the 20th episode today. Actually on the 20th. Apparently, I can't count. In the last episode, it was actually the 19th, but for whatever reason, I said it was the 20th. So, good job, Python, you big noob. Jeez. Guys, check it out. We have 64 levels. A full stack of levels, I tell you. A full stack of levels, man. There's a lot of things you can do with 64 levels, okay? We can enchant. We can make things. We can probably break things as well. It's a great time, guys. So, we need to go ahead and have a look at just how insane all of our farms have been in this world so far. On the 20th episode, my friends, and I feel like today is like a massive, massive time jump in terms of the amount of stuff that we've got in this world now. So, down the bottom here, an entire chest full, okay. Second chest full, third chest half full. Uh, that was not even full, that one's full, that one's full, and that one's nearly full. So, what was that, like five sort of chests, all in all? Gosh, freaking darn. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll start, oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that. We'll, just, <laughs> we'll start off by uh, taking out all of the books, okay. That's what I, what, that's what I wanna do, I wanna take out all of the books. Okay, and look at this, guys. We've got a whole bunch of epic books. We've got Infinity, Sweeping Edge. Oh, we don't have Sweeping Edge on the sword, actually. That could be a pretty good one to add. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, mending by itself. That's obviously a good one. We've got Unbreaking. That's a good one, too. There's a second Mending book there. Hey, not bad. So we didn't even need to go ahead and buy these things. We just sort of did what we needed to do. So, Sweeping Edge. Boom. The Bling Blade has been upgraded even more. Right. Uh, sharpness 4. Do we have any Sharpness 4 books in there? Let's do this to get ourselves Sharpness 4. And there we go. The top tier sword, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got 38 levels remaining, but there we go. Sharpness 5, knockback, looting 3, unbreaking 3, mending and sweeping edge. Quite literally the best sword you can get if you don't want to be setting dudes on fire. So, that's epic. Ah, oh, yeah, Mr. Squilliam. Yeah, everything's fantastic, dude. All right, all right. So, let's go ahead and start putting some stuff away, and let's check out some of our other amazing stuffs that we have available to us now. Alrighty, guys, what have we got in the old uh, sugarcane farm? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good amount. So, all in all, totaling both of them up, we've pretty much got a full, uh, a full double chest, more to the point, of sugarcane, which is good for trading, which is good. So, the real question is, 
how much iron do we have? Before we check that out, I just want to go ahead and say I've made a couple of men's moons since the last episode. Uh, anywhere where the... Well, I discovered that there was a couple of spots where the iron golems could spawn up there uh, and also in there. So what I did was the rooms that were up there, we put carpet in them so no iron golems can spawn in the side rooms. I've also put carpet on top of every single block, even the workstation blocks. And we've also got the zombie in an actual cauldron. Apparently the cauldron is very specifically what you need because of the height in which the zombie is at is apparently perfect for the villagers to see. So yeah, you just saw a couple of iron golems uh, falling down there, so that's absolutely fantastic. And these guys are making a racket. So, ladies and gentlemen, I did add a couple more double chests. So here we go. Let's have a look. Yo. Yo. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, baby. Dang, dude. Holy moly! Well, guys, from one bank of chests alone, we have nearly four stacks of iron blocks. What? Okay, this is... <laughs> this is literally more iron than I am ever going to need in my entire life. I literally will never need to go mining for iron ever again, guys. This is, this is unbelievably stupid, just how much stuff I've got now. Oh my god. Like I say, it feels like I've gone forward in time. I feel like I've done space-time travel, my friends. This is so weird. Oh my word. Oh my god. I don't even think we're going to be able to fit all of the iron blocks in here, man. Well, guys, I did say, didn't I? More iron than I know what to do with. We've pretty much got like a full inventory's worth of iron here, guys. <laughs> what? I can't get over how effective this thing is. Honestly, like every 30 seconds or so, it will just produce more iron. It's unbelievably stupid. Like th that farm design, it's stupid. For a single player world, it produces more iron than anything I've literally ever, ever seen. Holy guacamole. It's going to need its own double chest. Look at that. Jeez, man. Well, there we go, my friends. So, if my counting is correct, this is, what, 24 and a half stacks of iron blocks after 18 hours of AFKing, which means we get quite a lot of items per hour, if you think about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just can't get over it. I honestly can't. So, guys, how about we take a whole bunch of these iron blocks and we, first of all, decorate the iron farm area. Let's go and do that. It's not like we don't have a whole bunch of freaking iron blocks at our disposal now, huh? <laughs> I just can't get over it. I actually can't get over it, man. I genuinely, genuinely can't. So, here we go, my friends. Let's make a bit of a start here. Uh, we are going to open this room out just a little bit. Ah, clerics! Good day to you! I am going to buy glowstone off of it. Wow, that's actually a really bad trade. What happened to the old days where you used to pay, like, one emerald for two or three bits of glowstone? Dude, that is a rip-off. Like, Loki, that is actually a really bad ripoff. That's genuinely bad. That's a genuinely bad trade. So, yeah. I think on this particular occasion, we'll actually make the effort to grab ourselves a bit of glowstone. Also, our Silk Touch pickaxe is about to run out. I really actually don't mind it expiring. Uh, because, you know, we do have ourselves a mending Silk Touch pickaxe to come up. Is its replacement. So, that's pretty cool, obviously. So, yeah, we are all right. How much have we got? Uh, 30? I think we should be able to work with that. I think we'll be able to work with that pretty darn easy, in fact. All right, guys, let's get this room up and going. I've got a little bit of a vision in my head as to how I want this to go. So, yeah. All right, guys, so how about it? A little bit of greenery down in the iron farm room here. And I think we've got ourselves a pretty decent looking room. Oh, yeah. Okay, how's it looking so far? We haven't got the walls done just yet, but we're making some very, very good progress here. I'm very, very tempted to replace the stone brick here with iron as well, if I'm being honest. I think that could look pretty darn cool. Uh, right, so let's go and add in the water, shall we? So, let's see how this is looking. Uh, yep, okay, that's looking kind of decent. Uh, we could potentially add in 
couple bits of glowstone in the corner there. Okay, I think we can work with it. I want this room to be nicely lit, like super freaking lit. Like, there's no possible chance of hostile enemies spawning down here. And just all in all, I think modern type builds, you know, they're just super bright, aren't they? Let's be honest. So, yeah. Anyways, I think the final thing I want to do, I've got like nine bits of glowstone left. We can put one bit of glowstone in each of these little compartments here, right? And then we'll be good to go. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Yeah. Looking good, eh, guys? Looking good. We've got it all done. Very nice and modern. Very nice and bright as well. Doesn't at all go with the woodland mansion surrounding it or above it. But you know what? I could deal with it. I could deal with it. So yeah, you just go down here and it's like you've gone through a freaking time capsule. You're like in a different freaking time zone, man. Jeez. Look at the amount of eye. Look, already. I've only been recording for like 40 minutes. There's already a whole bunch of... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That actually is quite a lot of iron already going on. Oh, my word. Oh, this iron farm. It's so ridiculous. I do love it so... Uh, Goodbye there. <laughs> I don't want to know how many iron golems I've actually killed. Or, well, the environment is good. I mean, I haven't killed them. I haven't killed them at all. I might have manipulated the environment to kill them. But I myself, I play no part in it. I'm, I'm taking no responsibility. All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is buy ourselves some enchanted books from here. Lantern Lane. That is what, my friend. So what we're looking for is Silk Touch and also Respiration 3. I'm looking for Silk Touch for my shovel and, of course, Respiration 3 for the eventual good helmet that we've got going on. So somewhere around we should have the dudes. That's for the Falling 4. Uh, that is not what I'm looking for. What about you? What do you got? Oh, you're the mending dude. You've got the Respiration. Okay, so let's go and grab that. Now, thankfully, the Silk Touch, I believe, is only six emeralds, so it shouldn't take too much. Oh, this guy's also got a mending tray, but it's absolutely freaking terrible. So, that's a thing. Good day to you. Looting three. That's pretty good. Wait, he's got looting two as well. Interesting. Okay, right. Where is the silk touch, dude? i got to find him. There's only six emeralds. Come on. You're around here somewhere, brother. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. And you thought you could stay away from me. <laughs> Not today, my good sir. Not today. So yeah, I hope you hope you guys have been enjoying this episode so far. It's definitely been a freaking long one for me so far. Like I've, <laughs> I've been editing this episode as I go along, so I kind of know what kind of length the episode is at so far. Like about 12 minutes, as far as I know, 12, 13 minutes. So yeah. And as you guys know, I try to aim for around 20 minutes and or a natural endpoint. So, yeah, a little bit of behind the scenes for you guys. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do this thing. So, yeah, we've got the silk touch. You can chuck that on the shovel real easy like. There you go. And finally, Respiration 3, uh, alongside Projectile Protection 4, Aqua Affinity, and Respiration 3 should be very, very nice. So, yes, we can start improving these things as we go along. You know, we've got the books going on in terms of, you know, what can be improved. This one here is pretty much to the spec in which I want it to be. So, yeah, and I came up with a cool name for it, Space Invaders. Ah, I think that's pretty cool. That was like one of my like original favorite games. I love Space Invaders, dudes. <laughs> so yeah, I think we should come up with like game related names for all of these. Like we've got to be super, super clever about them. So I've got the boots already. So you guys should probably try and come up with some names. And obviously I will try to come up with some in the meantime as well. But obviously suggestions are always welcome, my friends. They really, really are. So uh, to finish off today's episode, what we're actually going to do is work with the bees. We are going to clear out yet another room and we are hopefully going to work with the bees. Here. So we've got the beehive. We've got a bunch of flowers here. We've got some two tall flowers in addition to some campfires. So what I'm hoping we'll be able to do is, well, some epic stuff, really. So we do actually have a blank room here. This room here was actually originally where the sugarcane farm was going to go. But then I found the other area and I kind of, you know, I kind of fancied it. So, oh, God, he's frozen in midair. That's never a good sign, is it? Why don't you go ahead and get out of here, you freaking floating wizard skeleton? You shouldn't be in here. Right. So, 
Another reason I wanted Silk Touch is because I want to put grass in here. I want to put grass in here. I want to make this into a really nice looking nature room, uh, which so happens to have bees in it. Uh, we will, of course, you know, put iron doors up just to secure it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and do that. Let's get ourselves an iron door. Let's also get ourselves some various other bits and bobs, some grass blocks and such. And we can make ourselves a good start on this thing. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. So, this is what we've got going on so far. Just a nice grassy floored room. I decided to make the entrance into a little bit of a utility area and I've added in a couple little hills here and there uh, because I feel like we could probably make this look kind of decent you know make it look a bit natural you know what I'm saying I think it could be a very very nice area to be so yeah we've got some stuff going on here we can maybe put down like a tree there in fact to tell you the truth I could probably put one of the beehives right there that could be a pretty nice place for it uh could I grow a tree here is that? No, that's not possible. It's uh, the, the roof is too low, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's fair. I, I did not mean to do that, but oh well, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and put down another tree. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, perfect. Okay. You'll love to see it. So, here we go, my friends. We're going to put down a combination of beehives and bee nests. The bee nests are the ones that actually have stuff in them. Uh, in fact, to tell you the truth, what might be a better idea is if we place down a ton of flowers surrounding where some of the beehives are going to go, right? So, we'll put down all of the single tall flowers. Uh, maybe we could put down another one, uh, let's say, over here. Maybe we surround this one with blue flowers, so the bees have plenty of places to go to to pollinate. And finally, of course, we do have ourselves a yellow one. Uh, maybe we, like, just put that on the wall or something? Like, or better still, we could even put it inside the tree itself. We could put it, like, dangling down here, and then we could put down all of the little yellow flowers, like this, right? I think that could be a pretty cool thing to do. And then for the rest of it, if I have some more bone meal, we could just like bone meal the ground. And then the place will look, you know, all nice and natural. You know what I'm saying? I think that could look pretty darn cool. Uh, the only issue is we don't have any light sources. Although with that said, I could probably get some, uh, you know, jack-o'-lanterns. Which is admittedly a light source I barely ever go for. Ah, there we go. So there's the shears. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. And you get loads of seeds, which is also kind of nice. So, let's do this. jack o lantern got 12 of them. Uh, where's the leaves at? Yep, there's the leaves, so we can hide some lighting around the place. And finally, of course, we are in need of some bone meal. There it is. Okay, beautiful stuff, my friends. We could all do this on camera, which, of course, is quite nice. So, let's go back in here. And once again, we are going to hide some of this stuff in the ground yeah you see a little bit of hidden lighting never went amiss huh yeah okay i think this place is gonna look absolutely banging i think it's gonna be really really cool so uh maybe another one down there we want to make sure that no hostile mobs will ever be able to spawn in here that's really the number one priority so one down there and that's already looking kind of cool. That's looking kind of cool. If I got rid of these torches now, would it still be light enough? That's the real question, I guess. Uh, I mean, we're looking for sevens or below. I think it's looking good. Yeah, so I'm looking at the light levels here, and they're all above 10. So that's absolutely fantastic. So all that's left to do now is bone meal the ground. One of my more favorite things to do in Minecraft. I think it's the randomness, the pure randomness of it. Is probably what I enjoy the most about bone mealing the ground. Uh, you never know what you get. You might get a flower. You might get some long grass. You never know, huh? So there you go. All right, so we've got ourselves a real nice looking room now. All that's left to do is to place down the actual hives and bee nests. So one of them's going to go. Uh, let's put a bee nest there. Okay. And I'm assuming they'll just like come out when they're ready, I guess. Uh, we'll have ourselves another one here. And then we'll have the beehive, like, there. <gasps> They're coming out! Hello! It's doing its job! That's cool. Okay, that's epic. That is actually epic. Right, now all that's left to do is put down some campfires beneath them. Rather like that. Okay, so you're still, like, all hunky-dory and friendly. We could probably just put a campfire up like that as well. Like, have some particles going on? Huh? Could be a cool idea. Right, and one down there. Let's put that back down. And I tell you what, let's, let's put these in as well. We got a couple sunflowers, rather like this. And then, in addition to that, we also have some rose bushes. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I want to put one of the rose bushes over here. 
So it sort of counteracts all of the yellow we've got going on. And then the other one can probably go there. Yeah! You see? How about this, eh, guys? How about this? Right, I'll tell you what I could also do. To add a little bit of light up here, I can put down a jack-o'-lantern like that. I mean, you can still kind of see through it, but I think that's still worth it. There you go. Fantastic. Yeah. Wait, do these guys, like... I don't know if they need to be able to, like... I don't know if this flower could be here. Well, no, I'm pretty sure all bees come out of there anyway. Yeah, so those guys are okay. But maybe the fact there's flowers here will affect that one. Either that or there's just no bees there. Oh, no. Okay. That's not so good. So they just got hurt from that. So could I potentially do a thing here? So, leaves. Okay. I need to be able to get out of here, obviously. So, boom. Leaves. Well, that's st That can still go through the leaves? Yo! That's cool! We did a cool thing! Yo! I didn't know you could do that! Oh, mate. That's... That's... That's actually epic. That is actually epic. <laughs> I'm really chuffed to bits about that. You can put down campfires and the smoke particles will go through leaves. Okay, well, that'll do the job then, huh? Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the bees going on and everything is looking fantastic. I mean, I can hear them. Where are they? Are they on the floor somewhere? I don't know. I can definitely hear them, though. Oh, unless they're in here. I don't know. Is he outside? I'm really confused. I don't know where that bee is. Oh, there he is. Hello. How'd you breed these guys again? I can't remember. Hang on. Give me a sec. I need to refresh myself. Alrighty, guys. So remember, bees are not a big fan of the nighttime. So only when it is daytime will they apparently come out. Right. Now then. Uh, if I could maybe lure these guys. Are they outside? Oh, 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 so there's that guy. Is there one over here? No. Ah, uh, do we not have two adults? We've got a baby here. Ah, dang, blast it. Well, I was rather hoping to be able to breed those guys. Okay, well, maybe we could wait just a little bit. Maybe the uh, little bee will grow up a little bit. And then, you know, all will be good. I don't know. Hey, guys, check it out. This guy, boom. You're not hostile, are you? Oh, they stay chill. Okay, that's good. So if you go ahead and shear a full beehive, you get the honeycomb, which is obviously really, really cool. And then those guys will just start the cycle again and all will be well. So yeah, we can use the honeycomb in various bits and bobs. If you guys haven't seen my uh, 1.15 snapshot video already, I've basically gone over uh, what we can do with these things already. We can make additional beehives if we so wish. So should we wind up breeding all the bees, which of course I want to, then yeah, all will be well. But for now, my friends, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end the episode right there. So yeah, massive time lapse. We've worked on various things, upgraded our upcoming gear. We've worked with the bees. Everything is looking cool. So for the actual episode 20 comments question on the video, so I've actually swapped these around now. Good thing I didn't sign it. Officially me says for the bridge to the island, you should use put out campfires. Love your vids, Python. Keep up the great work. I think that is a fantastic idea. Now, for those of you guys who haven't watched any of my Hermitcraft episodes since I returned, A, you probably should. In fact, I'll put an information card on screen for you guys so you can catch up on the playlist. And B, I noticed that Grian used put out campfires as kind of like a tarp roof, which I thought was an amazing, amazing thing or like a thatch type roof. I think it looked absolutely fantastic. I really do. So that is definitely something I'm going to do. I'm going to be using put out campfires in the design. It's not like they're expensive. I mean, it only takes a bit of charcoal or coal, sticks, and then wood logs, right? So, yeah. Super easy and super easy to make look good. So, yeah. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's epic episode, then please do be sure, if you haven't already, to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. A lot of time has gone into this one, and I truly appreciate it. It really does help out the channel, myself, and the video very, very much. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell, so you guys don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, I will bid you farewell. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, as always, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.